Hi, this is Alize from Microsoft Flight Simulators SDK. The team and I have prepared a video tutorial to help you get started on creating visual effects. We hope you'll enjoy it. Welcome to this video tutorial on Microsoft Flight Simulators Visual Effects Editor. In this video, you will learn how to get started and create a simple smoke effect. You can find the tool in the Dev Mode toolbar. You may want to rearrange windows before going any further. Make sure to keep enough space for the node graph. This is where you'll design your FX. Once you're all set, you can select an asset, like the FS Base FX for example. Then hit File, New Effect, and give a name to your new FX. Right click anywhere on the graph to add a new item. For now, you have to manually create all the basic items of an FX and link them with each other. This will be done automatically on the next update. It is now time to spawn your FX. In the Instances Debugger window, reach for the Spawner tab. Make sure that the sim object you're working on is actually your plane. Then, click on the Contact Point list. In this example, we will choose the Propeller. This is where our smoke will pop up. You can now click on Spawn. This is where you'll link all your additional functions. To add attributes, you must use the inspector, here locked in the side of the screen. For example, click on init and add the attribute particle lifetime. Unit is seconds. You may also add a particle size of 1. Unit is meters. You can see and edit these attributes directly in the node graph or in the inspector, here at the left of your screen. This is repeated endlessly, as you can see on your plane. To make it look more realistic, we need to add velocity on this smoke, otherwise it will remain stuck on your propeller. In the inspector, select the particle velocity. You can now see it in your init block. Right-click on the graph to add a vector 3 and connect it. You can decide to put an integer on any axis and your smoke will follow that direction instantly. Or you may decide to add randomness and get something more realistic. To do that, add random value blocks, one for x and one for z axis, and plug them to an integer item. You can define the granularity with the rel seed field and then add a minimum and maximum value for your random number. On second thought here, we decide to extend the lifetime of our FX. Your FX also needs a color, coded on a vector 4 for RGB and transparency. You can add it directly from the output block. Let's begin with white smoke, so a value of 1 on red, green and blue fields. To add a smooth fade-in, fade-out look, we will use a Bezier curve. Right-click to add a Bezier curve item and link it to the W entry of your Vector4 item. Then. Add an attribute item and set it to age over lifetime. Zero is the born of a particle, one is when it dies. The Bezier curve is null for now, so you have to create a curve by adding points. Here, to get a smooth smoke effect, we will add three points to define this shape. Transparency increases until full opacity, then decreases to zero. To finish, we darken the color of the smoke. You can now explore a wide range of possibilities by adding blocks on the node graph.